Thank you to everyone for being here uh, and being a part of this historic evening. We have been entrusted with a momental responsibility. We're here because the people of Austin recognized that we desperately needed reform in our city governance, making way for the geographic representation that you see here tonight. Because of this transformation, the expectations that have been set for this city council are higher than ever before. I've committed to bringing accountable, responsible, and affordable governments to Austin, and all of our constituents are looking to us to make Austin a better place to live. So now it's time for us to meet and surpass those expectations. This is an unprecedented opportunity for us to not only make impactful policy changes, but also significant reforms to our process. We've wasted no time getting to work, as others have alluded to, uh, to improve the accessibility and efficiency of city government while allowing for more thoughtful policy discussions. I want to say thank you to my wonderful family, especially my loving husband and my amazing parents, uh, as well as all the other friends, mentors, uh, and supporters who've been with me every step of the way. To my fellow council members, I'm honored to work alongside you and I'm looking so forward to everything that we're going to accomplish together. Uh, and most importantly, to the residents of District 8, when I'm asked what I hope to accomplish during my term in office, uh, I have quite a long list of policy priorities uh, but at the end of the day, the most important thing to me is uh, being a true servant leader. I never want to forget that I work for you. I'm never going to forget that the most important part of my day is listening to and responding to your ideas and concerns. And I will never lose hope that together we will shape a better future for Austin. <laughs> 